We are doing the grade 11 November prac exam for RT from uh, the Eastern Cape, and this is the 2018 paper. And we're dealing with question one. We are doing question 1.3 in this video. So let's hope question three goes a bit quicker than question two. So let's have a look. We're going to create a wage simulator, and the number of hours will be entered in a little spin edit over there. And then there's an overtime checkbox. If that is clicked, then we have an input box that's going to pop up asking us how many hours were worked over time. And there's a rate. That's the rate for normal hours. And one and a half times the normal rate is for all the overtime hours. And then we calculate and display the total wage in a panel. It looks like a panel. Yes, a panel. Um, and we must format it two decimal places and sky blue. So there we go. So there we can see if 18 hours are worked and there's five hours over time, it should look something like that. Okay, so some simple calculations. Let's have a look at the, the code. So there's our spin edit, SED hours, and there's our CBX overtime. So let's do this. First of all, let's get that input. So the first thing is we want to get how many hours they worked. So let's use the word. Okay, so that's normal hours. So I'm going to call it N hours. And then I'm going to have another variable for O hours, which will be the overtime hours. And those will be my two integers. Okay, so first things first. We're going to get the normal hours. And that's going to be getting from the spin edit control. And what property of it? Well, there's a value property, which tells me whatever's typed in. And that's an integer. And that's an integer. So we don't need to convert anything. Fantastic. Then... I need to get the overtime hours. And I'm only going to do that if they've checked that combo box. Not combo box, the checkbox. So if the checkboxes.check property equals true, or you don't even have to have that part in, but I'm just showing you. So if it's true, that means it's ticked. That means if it's true, then we must have an input box pop up. But an input box needs to return a value to something. So we're going to return it into the hours variable. That's going to equal to an input box, and the input box takes in three variables, three strings um, for what you want to type in. So I'm going to type in uh, a heading, overtime hours. Then I'm going to add in my question. Please enter the number of overtime hours. And then the last will be what is the default value. If you want a blank, you can just have it like that. I'm going to put a 5 in there, so I don't have to type it every single time. I'm testing it. Now, that's an input box. Now, the input box is returning whatever's typed in there. When they click OK, it will be a string and be sent back to that variable. Now, the problem is this is a string. It's going to return a string. This is a integer. So we need to convert this input box from what it is. What is it? It's a string to what we want it to become an integer. Okay, so we only do that if the overtime checkbox or checkbox is checked. If it's not checked, we don't do it. You just there's no else part. Just don't you just ignore it. Just ignore it. Okay. Um, okay, so we do that. If it's not actually well what I'm actually gonna do if it's not checked else it's a little trick. I'm gonna make sure that our uh, the overtime hours is equal to zero. I want to make sure that we even do calculations or that there's at least some value in there. So if it's not checked, then obviously the hours is a zero. So let's do that. Okay, that makes sense to me. Okay, now we've got our two pieces of information. So now we must work out the overtime. So it's going to be some sort of real value. So I'm going to need a real answer. Um, let's call it R amount. And that's a real. And the calculation is the the R amount is equal to the number of normal hours multiplied by, what was it? 18.25, 18.25. Okay. Plus, now let's use brackets so that we get our bod maths correct. Now, this is the tricky part. Now we've got to do some mathematics. Yeah, you can do it in lots of ways. The number of overtime hours will also be times 18.25 but then it will be multiplied by a further 1.5 okay they said one and a half times the normal rate so one and a half times of the normal rate so one and a half times about the 18.25 um you could have worked out what 
18.25 times by 1.5 is and you have that as a static variable you could have done that that would also work but that's also let, let, i don't want to use a calculator let delphi do the calculation for me so it's the normal rate but one and a half times the normal rate and if you do that it doesn't really make a difference because obviously the multiplication happens in in any order because it's all together okay so those are the two values the reason why i did this is because if it's not checked i don't want the overtime values to be some default value that hasn't been set so that's why i want to make sure that it's a zero if they don't check true so that this calculation happens correctly okay and then that's done we're going to in the panel i'm assuming it's pnl a eh, panel output panel output is that what it is yes it is we're going to make its caption property equal to whatever our amount is but we want to display it like a currency to two decimal places so we're going to use and also this is a real and that's a string so we're going to use the not real to string function we can use the float to string function okay but we want to do some extra formatting so we can use the float to string f function so what does that need that needs the variable that we convert in followed by the format and all formats start with the ff i'm going to press control space bar to see all the possibilities control space bar there's all of them i'm going to use the currency option and then I'm going to put how many decimal numbers, how many places in front of the decimal. That's 10 or 8, it doesn't matter in front, but what's behind. So in front, we don't care. So make it 8 or random one. But the behind is important because you want to display till two decimal places behind. So it's what you want to convert, the format you want to convert it to in front of the decimal. And then the next number is beyond the decimal. And then we must also make that panel blue. So I don't know if there's a color. Oh, there is a color property. And all colors start with CL. And did they say what type of blue? A oh, sky blue. CL. Let's see if there's a CL sky. Press Control Space Bar. All the options. Yeah, hey, sky blue. Fantastic. Yeah. Let's hope that works. Oh, this one's a lot easier than question 1.2. So let's go to 16. And we are saying overtime. Boom. And we want five over time. You remember, there's our three strings. Yes, we want five. Boom. Is that the same amount? Please tell me it's the same amount. Yes. Urethra, I mean, Rika, it is correct. And if we did the same one, but without the overtime, it would be a lot less. Because we don't need the box to pop up for that. Okay. There we go. So that looks like it's 1.3 done. For the other videos of this exam paper, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.